I will name my firstborn Lodervat. Oh, you know, pr probably not. But... I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys... A lot of those guys... Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? You cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little... awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably gonna need some therapy in the future, you know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Get the hell out of here. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. to be confused with his brother, Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Uh, oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Oh, it's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something, and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing.
how are you? Not great. Uh, don't do ah! that. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you guys. <laughs> it, it just it just happened, you know? Things happen, they happen. What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but, unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No! We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure, why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Hugo couldn't make it. He's sick. Yeah, he ate some bad stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's been camped out in the executive washroom since lunchtime. He's got trains leaving both ends of the station, if you know what I mean. Ugh, okay, I got the picture. Well done. So, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. Is she okay? Yeah, yeah, she's just freaking out. She does that sometimes. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all... Oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. 
Look at his face. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we are not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things... August, Bobby, come on now, a deal's a deal. We didn't come all the way down here, just no, to... I'm I'm sorry, guys, I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Priest! This is your department! Do something! August. Can't let you leave with that, pal. Oh, no? And what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Looks like he had a change of heart. What a steaming load of scag crap. <laughs>